Row reduced echelon form. Row reduced echelon form of a matrix is a very valuable concept with numerous practical and conceptual applications, and we'll make sure to go over a number of those. And you may also know by now what row reduced echelon form is. It's what's left of the matrix when there is nothing left in Gaussian elimination, when all of the possible entries have been eliminated and there is nothing left to do from the point of view of Gaussian elimination, then the matrix in its, is in its row reduced echelon form. So you have an intuitive understanding of what it is, but let me nevertheless give you the specific rules for row reduced echelon form, and that will also give me a chance to define these terms. So there are two ways to look at row reduced echelon form from the point of view of columns and from the point of view of rows. So let's start with the column perspective. From the column perspective, row reduced echelon form is characterized by having these pivot columns. These are columns that have a single non-zero entry. Those entries are called pivots. The pivots appear in consecutive rows starting with the first row. So the first pivot column has a pivot in the first row, the second pivot column has a pivot in the second row, and the last pivot column has a pivot in the third row. And these pivots are the first non-zero entries in their rows. So for instance, the second pivot column has a one in the second row, and it's the first entry in the second column of all the columns until that column. So these columns, the pivot columns, are then necessarily linearly dependent, and the remaining columns are linearly dependent on the pivot columns that came before them. So that's pretty much row reduced echelon form from the column point of view. And the word reduced means that pivots equal one. So if the pivots were simply non-zero entries and had other values, values other than one, then it would be called row echelon form. And reduced refers to the fact that the pivots are one. Sometimes this term is pronounced reduced row echelon form. So a row echelon form means the pivots need not be ones, and reduced row echelon form, or row reduced echelon form, just because it sounds nicer putting the word reduced second, means that pivots equal one. So that's pretty much RREF from the columns point of view. Now from the rows point of view, it's even a little bit easier to describe. So when you look at rows, you will notice that there are some rows that are not zero rows, and then there are some rows that have all zeros, and those would be called zero rows. So according to the definition of row reduced echelon form, all the non-zero rows come first, then the zero rows, and the first entry of every row must appear to the right of the first non-zero entry in the previous row. So just stating those two things defines the row echelon form, and once again, reduced means that the pivots are ones. Those non-zero entries are called pivots. Excuse me. Those non-zero entries are ones. That's what the term reduced means. And as you can see from the point of view of rows, uh, the row reduced echelon form can be described in fewer sentences. So maybe it's a little bit clearer to see from the row perspective. But of course, we continue to prefer the column perspective because it's more valuable from the geometric point of view and that analogy to geometry. Okay, now what does the word echelon mean? Well, the word echelon simply refers to this characteristic shape of non-zero entries. You can say that the non-zero entries tend to appear in the top right portion of the matrix. Although it's not always this clean diagonal and you can say upper half, lower half, you're not, you're not typically able to do that with rectangular matrices. And pivot columns appear in places that are not up to us, so this picture can be very skewed. But you can still say that roughly the non-zero entries are to the right and up. And this shape refers, is referred to as the echelon. So echelon comes from a French word that means steps on a stair, because this kind of looks like a stair, I think. And also from a military formation, it's an attack formation. If you organize your troops or your tanks in this sort of pattern where every tank is behind and to the side of the tank in front of it. So I guess 
if tanks are facing this way, this would be called the right echelon formation. So it refers to the formation of troops. And again, it's this characteristic stepwise shape that you can see here. So that's where the word echelon came from. So over the next few videos, we will practice uh, drawing utility from row reduced echelon form. And actually, I'm trying to understand it a little bit better from some very insightful examples. And then I will show you a truly spectacular conceptual application of the row reduced echelon form.